new nine-part documentary series, The Vow, is a fascinating exploration of the Nixium phenomenon. The what? Well, it's an organisation founded by Keith Ranieri and Nancy Salzman in the I late 1990s with idealistic aims. To quote, our mission is to raise human awareness, foster an ethical humanitarian civilization, and celebrate what it means to be human. It ran quite expensive personal development seminars, often under the leadership of Nancy. But at the very start of the first episode, we're informed that Keith Ranieri was found guilty of sex trafficking and racketeering, relating to a secret society within Nixium called DOS, or The Vow. We then go to Mark Vicente, who'd been with the organisation for 12 years, but had left and was jittery about the consequences. He'd been very close to Keith, who was a charismatic leader, adored by his followers. I originally wanted to record this because I had a very strong suspicion that I would be attacked when I left the organisation. Attacked could be legally, it could be private investigators, it could be bugging, it could be, you know, uh, destroying my name. The series offers insight into what was really a cult, which had rituals, sashes, represented your achievements and progress. Keith was called Vanguard. People had to be addressed as master. It was hierarchical and obviously very persuasive and rewarding in some cases. But various people became disillusioned. One of the first was the Australian actress, Bonnie Pierce, Mark's eventual wife, who'd become involved through him. She sensed there was something really wrong with the organisation and Mark was torn between his loyalty to his wife and his loyalty to Keith. It was a process designed to produce quantifiable results. And understand how profound this thing is that he's created. It's filed in the patent office under artificial intelligence. This isn't about like mystical beliefs and howling at the moon and holding a crystal and doing this. This was like science and I was like, okay, this is, this is what I want. It's a really interesting journey into the personal and the political manipulation within Nixium. The directors were Karim Amer and Jahan Nujem, who benefited from Mark's documentation of the cult. Mark had been an award-winning documentarian, and Keith charged him with filming and recording the experiences of Nixium. He recorded every conversation. So you really do get intimate access to much of what was happening. I must admit I'd never heard of Nixium, but this insight made for absolutely riveting viewing. Possibly at nine episodes it overstays its welcome, but I've only seen three episodes and I'm hanging out for the next six. Four stars. ESP Nexium is a methodology for enhancing human experience and behavior. You're the kind of person who wants to do good. Where would you go? This actually helps you build love. It is manipulative, but it's a good manipulation. I'm feeling the most fear if I can overcome this. Our commitment is our power. You sign a lifelong vow. A vow to integrity and honor. Building more character and discipline. A vow of obedience. A vow of devotion.